Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today to do my project pan update. So this is a two month update. It is uh, right now it's the end of Feb, but this is like the start of March check in and I'm going to go through all the products that's in my project pan, tell you what I finished up, what progress I'm making, um, what products I'm not making any progress on, um, what I'm introducing to replace some products. Um, but in a month's time, it's a quarterly refresh. So that's exciting. So there are some products here that I really want done by then, um, because if I don't get them done, I'm probably just going to take them out because I'm not enjoying them or I'm not really organically fitting them into my um, sort of, I don't know, makeup life, I guess. But anyway, um, what I'm wearing on my face today is all these products. So not all of them, but they're all the only makeup I'm wearing on my face is these products. So that video might go up next. It's a bit of a fail of a get ready with me because um, I had some hiccups using some products. And I'll probably talk about the products that I'm struggling with and how I'm struggling with them, but you will see them in action uh, in the next video. But uh, yeah, so this is me using all my Project Pan products. Um, but yeah, different setup sort of because this is the Beauty News setup. Um, I find it really hard sometimes to sit on the ground for long periods of time. The get ready with me took like an hour to film. This will take at least half an hour and uh, I have very bad circulation in my legs and feet and my feet swell up at the moment. So, so yeah, that's the thing. So I'm currently trying to um, play around and see what setup is working temporarily um, for now. So that's why I'm here. If you are new here and you have no idea what this video is about, um, essentially it's a project pan. So, um, it is a way to use up some makeup that you no longer want in your collection. Um, it's just a way to sort of target these products, um, use them on a daily basis if possible um, to get them to get use out of them and then move them on. So uh, it's not a way to use up products as fast as possible. It's just a way to go, OK, I don't like the color of this foundation in winter. It's too yellow for me. So while it's summer, I'm going to try to use it up. Um, or something like this product has been in my collection for going on five years. It's about time I use it up. So that's the point of these project pans. So if you do want to see other people that are doing this particular type of project pan, which is a full face project pan. So uh, the products here create a full face of makeup that you can wear on a daily basis. Um, there's some skincare products some hair care products. Um, and then as you use up something, you sort of roll in a new thing. Um, just click on the hashtag that's in the title and also the description box because you'll find people that are doing the same type of project. All right, let's start with products that I've used up and I am trying really hard this year to have every month there's something that I've used up. Um, and I think I did that successfully last year just without focusing on it. But this year, I really, really want to make sure that I'm getting good progress and I have used up a few products. So the first one I'm going to mention is just a throwaway product. Um, it was a body oil bar thing from Lush. I don't even remember the name of it because the labels come off, but I'll have a photo of it on the screen. I did use this up. I'll talk about what I thought about it in my empties. Um, but it didn't take long to use up. I think it took maybe 10 applications to use up. So it really wasn't hard. I finally used up my La Roche-Posay Melting BB Cream. So this is the Uvidia XL BB Cream in the shade 01. Um, so this took me quite some time to use up. Funnily enough, I had it in my collection for a really long time. I used a lot of it, but then when it got to me introducing it into my project pan, I sort of stumbled with it, but it was down to here last time and it's used up. So I don't know if you can see properly. Do I zoom in a little bit more? This setup is kind of difficult. I'm trying to figure out what works. All right, we're a little bit closer, but um, yeah, you can see that pretty much when I introduced at the start of the year, it was at the pink, then it went down to the green and now it's completely used up. Um, and yeah, this is a sort of really light BB cream with high SPF, which is really good. So I wanted to try to use it up in summer and I did. So good on you. I also used up my Shuramira liner. This is the, uh, what is it? The water paint ink liner in deep purple. Um, I didn't weigh this, um, but it is a like, it is a brush tip applicator. And I just found that even though I can still get some uh, applications from it, I found that it was really hard that you pretty much would do one eye and then it would get to the point of doing the other eye and it would be like dry and you gotta like shake it. I can't hear anything in there. So I'm just gonna consider this done. I used up my MAC eyebrows pencil. This is in the shade Stylized and this is just a micro pencil and it doesn't twist up 
anymore. So I did weigh this um, because I knew that it was a non-retractable product. So I can't twist it all the way out to see how much is in there um, because you can't twist it back down, but there is no more twisting coming out of that. So I won't bother weighing it just to tell you how much the packaging is, but um, yeah, that's done. Now, when it comes to introducing new products, so what I generally like to do is once I take something out, I like to put something back in. Um, but with most of these products, I already have something from that category in here. So they were sort of like double up products you know what I mean. So um, I, with the liner, I've already got a gel liner in here. With the um, BB cream, I've already got a foundation in here. With the Lush body butter bar thing, I could introduce another body product, but I think I might just save it for uh, next month. The thing I will replace though is a brow pencil. I do have a brow pomade in here already, so technically I don't really need to because once again, I've got the brow sort of uh, category covered. But there is a pencil in my collection that I do want to use up because it's probably my least used one um, and I just, I don't need it taking up space. So it is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. So this is um, it's one of those clicky pencils. Again, it's non-retractable, so I can't wind it out and show you the progress because if I wind out the product, I can't get it back in. But essentially there's two brow products here, so a dark one and a light one. Um, and then there's two sort of uh, highlighting and defining cream colors. So these aren't products I'm going to use. Um, so that's one of them. I don't know if you can see that. Um, these aren't products I'm going to use on a daily basis, to be fair. Can you see them? Um, they're sort of used to sort of define your brows. If you sort of have gone over the shape of your brows, or you really like those super crisp brows. I personally don't like doing that. I just, I kind of prefer a bit of a messy brow. So I'm gonna focus on the two brow pencils because like I said, I'm not gonna really use these ones. If I do, cool, but I'm not gonna force myself to use them up because it's not a product I use at all. Um, but brow pencils I use on a daily basis. So I will weigh this um, when I'm taking progress photos. So I know what I'm up to, but I'm just focusing on the two brow products. All right, the first product that I've made some decent visual progress on is probably a product that I really want to get rid of by the next check-in. So this is my foundation. It's the Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I don't mind this foundation. It's just that it's too yellow for me, and that's why it's in my project pan. It's not even a super old foundation. I just wanted it done by the end of summer. Now, the reason I was aiming for end of summer was because um, if I am going to be any more sort of colored or tanned or whatever, it's going to be in the warmer weather. It is now starting to go into autumn and starting to change. So um, I'm not going to get any darker than I currently am. But this is too yellow for me. So I really, really want to use it up. When I introduced it in January, it was up to here. February is there. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it's down to there now. So there's a line there. And if I make the same amount of progress on it next month, I should be very, very close to using it up. Now this month I could have used this a lot more than I currently did. Um, I was testing out another foundation. I was testing out the Nabla foundation. So um, this isn't been my primary foundation also because it does look quite yellow on me. So for example, I'm wearing it today and it does look quite yellow compared to my chest. I'm gonna have to start mixing this with a lighter, more pink toned foundation to wear it a lot more. So. I can't use as much of it as I normally would like to, but I really want this done because the longer I leave it, the more it's just gonna hang over my head. So I'm making good progress on it, but I'm hoping I can make better progress next month. Oh, I really wanna show you guys something. I'm very, very excited. I don't know if I can zoom in and show you this, but I'm very excited anyway. Uh, so this is my blush palette and I have been using this a lot. I was talking about this last check-in that I was making some surprising progress in just one month. I was like wearing away the design on the packaging. Um, and I don't know if you can see now, but I have hit pan on the highlighter. So I've been using that highlighter a lot. Um, and when I hit pan on it, I sort of stopped using it a little bit um, because I noticed that I had been neglecting this highlighter. So um, as soon as I sort of hit a decent amount of pan, I sort of switched to this one. But I um, I still am wearing the blushes. Today I'm wearing this top blush. I mainly wear this one or this one. Um, I might do a zoom in soon to show you. I can't, I'm too far away from the camera right now. 
but I want to show you a comparison of where I was up to last check-in. Um, I do think that these two designs, um, I have worn away the design a lot more than I did last time. Maybe also this one. I don't wear this one too much though. Um, but I am thinking I'm going to start switching to this highlighter as well because it is a lighter, cooler toned highlighter. As the cooler weather sort of um, rocks around, I'll be able to use this a bit more. So um, yeah, but I'm super, super proud of that. Also, I've noticed that in the top one, um, I can see the ring sort of. I don't know if you can see, but you can sort of see that ring, which is here. Um, in that pan slightly. So I feel like if I keep going at this one, I'll be able to hit pan on that one soon too. Um, but yeah, those are my most used ones. All right, close up of the blush palette. Hopefully you can see that that pattern has gone down a lot. You can see pan there, that pattern has gone down a lot as well. I'm not sure if I can capture where you can sort of see the ring um, shape under that one, but I'm gonna work on this one to see if I can get that looking not quite like this, but similar to this uh, next month. And I'll work on this a little bit more, but then I might switch over to this one down there. But you should be able to see a comparison on the screen of what it was like last check-in. Another product that I've hit pan on, and I didn't expect this to happen as soon as it did, um, my Huda Beauty Tan Tour. So this is a contour sort of bronzing cream product. It's very pigmented. Um, it's one of those products that it's a little bit scary to use. I find it's really sort of intimidating using it with a brush because you can apply too much. Then you're like, shit, I've got to blend the crap out of it. And it just takes over your base. Um, but I've noticed that with a sponge, so like if you're applying your foundation with a sponge, you've got a little bit of leftover foundation and concealer on your sponge and you pick up a bit of this. It actually blends into the foundation really nicely. I've also been using Tati's Blenderful, which I'll demonstrate in the next video. That's what I've done today. But as you can see, I have hit pan on it. So I might zoom in and show you this. All right, close up of Huda Tan Tour. So last time you can see I had a dent. Now I've hit some pan and it's just a matter of working away that pan. Um, I do like this product. I don't use it every day because it's quite bold, but um, it is sort of, yeah. Uh, as you start using it, you see some good progress, which is nice to see. The last thing that I hit pan on was actually my gel liner. So I knew I was very close to the base of this little pot. So this is my MAC Fluid line in the shade Past Twilight. I really like this shade and I'm sure you can see from there that I have hit the bottom of it. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is just work around the sides and sort of expand the bottom. But the good thing is now that we have a reference point for um, something to like focus on, I can definitely see the, like I'll be able to see progression. Whereas what I've been taking photos of up until this point is just what looks like a deep abyss of eyeliner. So um, we can definitely see how that sort of changes as time goes on, but I'll do a zoom in of this as well. All right, hopefully you can see it down the bottom of that. There is definitely some um, pan action or hitting glass action. So now the key is just to expand that out, but you can see a comparison on the screen of where it was up to last month. All right, so those are my main like visual success stories, but I do have some other ones that I'm making some decent progress on. So um, one that is probably the hardest product to use and the one that I'm hating the most, but I'm so close to finishing it that I don't want to get rid of it. If it's still kicking around next time, like next month, I'm gonna get rid of it, but I feel like I can use it up. So it's my Longcom Liquid Illuminator, and um, I'm not sure if you can see, but when I introduced it, it was at the pink. No, it was last year I had it in at the blue. January it was at the pink, um, and then last month it was at the green, and now it's down to around there. I'm not sure if you can see. I can see clearly through this. Um, and it's around to about there. So I used up about half that was left since the green. Now, it's really strange though, because I managed to use up quite a lot of it before I introduced it in my project pan. And I didn't hate it as much as I'm hating it now. Sometimes you introduce products that you're like, oh, they're not too bad. And then the more you try to use them, the more you're like, God, they're shit. But this might also be that it's just not mixing well with this foundation. So um, when my video goes up of me doing this look, you will see that I really struggle with this. I use it as a primer just to show you what it looks like. Um, and then I also mix it in with this foundation. And it was just too much of this. It made everything streaky. 
and didn't apply well. It was sort of patchy. So I know that this product isn't the best for me, but I think in the past I've had better results with it. So maybe it just doesn't mix well with this foundation. So um, I can make it work if I use the smallest amount of it in with my foundation, um, but I really want this done by next check-in. I am making some decent progress, but again, it's just... I don't like it. I'm making some decent progress on my Dermalogica Antioxidant Hydro Mist. It's been super hot recently and I've actually taken to moving this to where my body products are. So before I go to bed, I put body oil on um, and I've been putting this near it. So when I am feeling a little bit hot because it's been super humid and just really uncomfortable, I sort of spray this on myself. So I have been using quite a lot of it. So I introduced it in January up there, then last check-in it was down there. But when I light this up, I can see that it is down to around here. So um, I'm not making as much progress as I did last, um, like from January to Feb, but from uh, Feb to March, the progress isn't too bad. And then if I just keep at it, and I think I've been using a lot more since I've been using it on my body. Um, hopefully I can use most of this up by next month, if not, guaranteed to be the following month so there we go fragrance i'm making a little bit of progress on so again um that's where it was the pink is january then we got february and then we've got um the march check-in is sort of just below it's hard to see because i've got the ring light reflection but you can see that i am making a bit of progress pretty much the same amount of progress as last time so this is the britney spears midnight fantasy fragrance i have been wearing it every day um, but again because this is at the sort of widest part of the bottle right now i'm seeing the least progress but i am making progress on it all right another product that i'm making some okay progress on is um, a makeup perfecting mist from mecca cosmetica so when i introduced it it was right up to the top i pretty much had not used it at all at all um, and now it is down to around here so um, i have used maybe a, like over two thirds of it, it's coming up to nearly half of it. So I'm making some good progress there. Um, I enjoy the product, it's totally fine. Another one that I might um, just show you where I'm up to before I get onto weighing some products. Um, this is my sunscreen. Now I don't wear this every day because um, I do wear sunscreen every day, but I, at the moment I'm also using a moisturizer that's got some SPF in it. So um, if I'm not going out and about too much, I will just use that. Whereas if I am going out and about, I will use this. Um, and I sort of thought to myself, oh, it's good to use it up because it's getting old and I can use this on my chest and my sort of neck and everything if I'm going out or on my arms a little bit, my shoulders. Um, but I haven't been, it hasn't been that hot and I haven't been going out too much. So, um, uh, when I did introduce it last month, it was up to here and now it is not much below it. So probably about up to here. Um, so I will mark that, but there's yeah, very little progress on that. I reckon that might take some time. All right. So there are some products that I need to weigh to see the progress on. And I think I've made some decent progress, but I need to wait them to see. Um, I do have two primers and it's been quite hard to, I think, focus on one to get a lot of progress on it because I've got two. So I've got a pore filling sort of mattifying and I've got more of an illuminating one. Um, now I do use these sort of 50-50. I don't use them every day, but I feel like this one's closest to completion. So let's wait, let's weigh this one first. All right, so last time I did a check-in, it was at 23.98 grams, and now it's at 22.04 grams. So I've used just shy of two grams of product, but prior to that, I'd used like three and a half grams. So I am slowing down a little bit on this, but again, I think it's the introduction of this, but there is some progress being made. Shit, I forgot to write down what the illuminating primer weighed in at, but it's currently at 67.98 grams. I'll have on the screen where it was up to last check-in or when I introduced it. So hopefully I've made some progress. I'm not, not too sure. I do like it. I do use it, but I don't know if I'm making heaps of progress. Probably the thing that I need to weigh that I've seen most uh, progress on, I hope, is actually the powder. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. When I did introduce this, I had a lot of people say that it's taken them like a year to use up. It's going to take forever. But if I put it on the side, I'm down to here. I actually use this powder a lot and I use quite a lot of it. 
It's been summer. It's been hot. I need to set my uh, makeup pretty well. So let's weigh this. All right. I'm sort of on track with um, last month. Not quite. I was making better progress last month. But again, this is a short month, so I shouldn't be too hard on myself. Um, but uh, it was at 69.75 grams. It's now at 65.02 grams. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not too bad. We're making, again, just shy of five grams of use. Whereas the first month of this project pan, I think I used up just over five grams. So um, I'm, do, I'm making some good progress on this. Just for fun, let's weigh the hair product. So this is a dry shampoo from Batiste. Shit, I must use a lot of dry shampoo because it was at 138.99 grams. Now it's at 69.9394 grams. So, um, I didn't realize I used up that much product. I do also know that from finishing another one um, that these, uh, the packaging is like just over 50 grams. So I, I should theoretically finish this pretty soon. All right, skincare item. This is the Kiehl's Youth Dose Eye Treatment. I actually don't use this too much as an eye treatment. Sometimes I do use it as a primer. Um, it does have a bit of a silicon sort of consistency. Um, so it actually works really nicely under makeup. Um, so it's there, it's slightly tinted and it's, it does work as sort of like a pore filling sort of product. So sometimes I'll use it under my eyes, um, sometimes around my nose or my forehead a little bit um, before I use my makeup. So um, this hasn't been sitting in my bathroom with the rest of my skincare. Uh, it's sort of been sitting in my makeup room and sometimes I'll use it. And when I do use it, I use it in fairly like larger areas than I normally would just as an eye product. So hopefully there is some progress. But again, I don't use this every day. I might use it like once or twice a week. Um, so we'll see the progress. A eh, little bit of progress. So this was at 16.6 grams. It's now at 14.6. Five, six, and there is 15 mils in here. So I still feel like this is nearly sort of done because if you start pushing out some air, um, it is getting pretty flat. So before it fills up again, it's sort of like, yeah, it's super, super flat. So I feel like if I just stick to this, I can use this up probably next month, but um, I've got to see if I stick to it. Let's run really quickly through these products. So we've got MAC Mascara, we have Flower Beauty Concealer, we have Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, mini brow gel and we have ColourPop uh, lip gloss. All these products are listed in the description box so if I don't say shade names but you want to know um, you can find them there. Mascara not too much used this was at 19.78 grams it's now at 19.39 but I've also been testing out a new uh, mascara this month so that probably explains it. All right used just shy of a gram of the concealer so this was at 22.1 grams it's now at 21.1314 grams. Again I have been trying out the Nabla um, concealer this month so this one I don't use every day, but um, you know, there is a little bit of progress. With a brow gel, it was at 5.72 grams. It's now at 5.52 grams. So using the smallest amount, but I feel like there's not much left in here. Like when I do apply it, it gets quite, it's quite dry. So I feel like maybe even next month, this will be done. Um, and most of the weight seems to be the packaging. ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip was at 24.24 grams. It's now at 23.96 grams. So again, not much use this month. Um, to be fair, I have neglected my lip products quite a bit, uh, except for the lip balms. I think I've been using them a bit, but lip gloss, and liquid lipstick, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, I haven't used them too much because again, I'm sort of been trying a lot of Nabla products um, and they have been the main lip products that I've been using, but um, I will get back into this very soon. Let's just talk about other lip products, shall we? So this is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, and this is, was, was gonna be a challenge for me because I like to change my lip products every day. To be fair, I don't think I've used this once since filming my last check-in. Again, I've been testing out uh, the Nabla products. So this has sort of taken a back burner. Um, so there's no progress on this. I probably won't even mark it because I don't re recall using it once. Um, so that has probably been one of the most fails um, of the month, but you know, sometimes progress happens in certain areas and not other areas. I do have two lip balm type things. I do think I've got progress on these. So this is the Sephora watermelon lip balm. Hopefully you can see that there is some progress. I'm hoping there's some progress. I figure there is because I use this quite a lot, but on the screen is what it was up to last month. 
With the Elizabeth Arden, this is the Lip Protectant Stick in Honey. Again, I've been using this a lot. If there's no progress, I'm going to be shocked because this looks like it's getting destroyed because I use it so much. This is just a daily, really quick thing that I use. So I've been using this a lot more than the lip gloss. So this is where I think my progress, my lip progress is. Again, there'll be a photo on the screen. Hopefully you can see that there is some progress here. I'm really hoping there is. Come on, Project Panning Gods, have some progress. Another stick item that I have used quite a lot, but I don't know if there's much visual progress. So this is the Jouer. Um, it's like the eyeshadow stick, but I use this as a primer. So today I'm using it under my eyeshadows and hopefully there's some progress. I know that it has been sort of uh, the tip has changed shape. That's mainly because it... Uh, fell on the floor before, but I have been using this as a primer quite a lot. So hopefully there is at least a little bit of progress. Highlighter, look, I've been using it, but I don't think there's much progress to be seen. Um, I have mainly been using, like I said, that blush uh, palette. And as soon as I sort of hit some pan on that, I've been going back to using this, but I don't, I really don't think there's much visual progress. So there'll be a photo on the screen, but I don't think there's much to see. Another thing that there's not too much progress to see is my eyeshadow. So this is my eyeshadow single from Wet n Wild. Um, I did hit pan on it last month. Um, hopefully you can see the pan, but the pan really hasn't um, increased in size too much. With the other single eyeshadows, there's not too much progress. Um, with my Ulta eyeshadow, I do want to mention that this uh, dropped and it cracked. So what I ended up doing was spraying it with isopropyl alcohol and pressing it down again. I didn't actually mix up the product or anything. I just sort of repressed it because it was in like big sort of chunks. It had just cracked. Um, so it looks like it's a bit worn, but I don't actually think it's due to much um, usage. I have used it quite a few times. I'm wearing it today, but um, it's not, the dent is more repairing dent, if that makes sense. Oh my God, and I just dropped it and it just broke. All right, obviously it's a pretty fragile eyeshadow that uh, if you drop it from uh, the distance of maybe 10 centimeters, it breaks. So I'm going to have to repair that one again. Let's close it before you cause any more damage. But uh, yes, there might be a lot of use from that one. Uh, not by actual use, but just by it breaking a lot. So really like the color. I really like the effect of it. I am getting some use out of it, but it, yeah, it is uh, it's breaking. With my Illamasqua eyeshadow, I really like this uh, Justify. Again, I've been testing out other eyeshadows this month, so I haven't been using it much. But when I do wear non-testing eyeshadows, I do pair this with Broken Ulta 3 thing here. Um, one thing I did notice, and I did talk about this a little bit last month, is that when I use this, uh, it's a little bit too light for deepening this particular bronze shade. So I have also sort of paired it with another Illamasqua eyeshadow that I might in introduce into this project pan. Um, it is, I'm probably not going to hit pan on it. It's a dark brown. It's called Wolf. But I really like using this to sort of uh, deepen the crease a little bit and that just to sort of deepen the crease a little bit more. Sometimes I mix them together. They're really beautiful eyeshadows. They haven't broken yet. Hooray. So um, yeah, there's not much progress on this one. There's no dent or anything. Um, and this one I'm looking at introducing. So um, yeah, there we go. I think the last thing I need to talk about is my giant bronzer. Now this is actually broken. The lid uh, cracked the other day. So now I can take it off like this. Um, this is massive and I'm not going to do a zoom in of it because um, I, ha I have been using it. I have been using it consistently. Um, but look, I can see that there is a pan design under there that's starting to show. So there's a ring and a ring. I don't know if you can see it, um, but I thought I saw it last month as well. And I think I see it a little bit more but I'm just wearing down the design a little bit more. I'm hoping to hit pan on it soon. I really like this bronzer, happy to use it. Just really bummed that the packaging has broken. Shit, no, that, that wasn't the last thing. I've got a lip liner that I've used twice. I've not sharpened it, so I don't even think there's any point um, sort of like doing a comparison. All I've done is sort of worn um, away the tip a little bit. So that one really hasn't changed since last check-in. Again, I've been mainly using Nabla lip products this month. And my brow pomade, the Cabrow from Benefit, I have been using this consistently, but there is no like, there's a good dent in there, like a good dip in there, but um, there's no real visual marker that you'll be able to see. But I use this pretty much every day. So 
there we go. All right, so that is my project pan check-in for the start of March. So like the second month, the second completed month check-in. Um, I feel like um, probably, I don't know if I've overdone it this, this year. I am seeing a lot of progress and I am incorporating a lot of things, which is cool. But I think just going through the sheer number of products, I'm like, this took me an hour to film. Like what the actual fuck? So let me know if that's okay with you guys, if you are happy to sit through all this because it does take a while and it is, um, a lot of it's like, no progress, minimal progress, minimal progress. Or if you want to see me sort of like cut it down to the products that um, are interesting. So the things I've seen progress on, the things I've used, and maybe even talking briefly about things that I haven't used and why. Um, just let me know because I can tweak this. I just feel like they're getting very, very long, but I, I'm still enjoying doing the project pan, but I'm, I have some products earmarked for finishing next month because I would really love to get them out of the way by the refresh. So, um, the refresh is a time where, um, every three months you can sort of go through your products if you're not loving them. So for example, if I still have this kicking around by the refresh, I can just be like, look, I don't, I don't want to use this anymore. I'm either going to put it back into my normal collection, throw it out, do whatever I need to do with it, um, and replace it with something that I will start seeing progress on. So one thing that I may consider, um, refreshing is this liquid lipstick. I still want to give it another red hot go because I like the color, but, um, and it might actually be really good for autumn. I like to think that a lot of products besides the hard things like eyeshadows and eyeliners and brow pomades and whatnot, you can generally get products used up if you use them frequently for three months. So, you know, this has to go. I need to force myself to use that. I need to force myself to use the Kiehl's thing. So I'm really going to target some of these products quite heavily um, over the next month so I can see some really good progress for the start of April. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. I will see you guys in the next one. And the next one will be me putting all these products on my face to achieve this look. There is a bit of a snafu with it. There is a fuck up, um, but uh, we get there in the end. So um, if you do want to see that, they'll be coming up uh, next video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.